Hey Tiny Planet Explorers and welcome back to Kick the PJ's Crafting Nook. That name is still pending, it's up for debate. Last time I made a magical DIY cloud light, it was very fluffy. But today I am bringing to life characters chosen by you guys using clay. <laughs> So, I tweeted asking you guys who you'd like me to bring to life. And the general consensus was that you guys wanted the following. Jake the dog from Adventure Time, No Face from Spirited Away, and Totoro, that chubby funster Totoro. I've already figured out the boring part, which is how I'm going to assemble the characters. I essentially studied the characters very close, and I imagined what would it be like if they exploded into a million pieces, and it was up to me to put them back together again. Pretty much, yeah. All right, well, let's get cracking. I think I wanna start with No Face. <laughs> Stuff is like licorice and not the kind that you wanna eat. Ugh. I'm a part-time chimney sweep as well. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chewy. Squeeze them all out. I mean, it's feeling pretty soft and malleable, so, oh. Oh. Looking pretty fly, no face. He actually currently has no face. Pretty freaky, right? So his arms are just kind of blobby. Creepy tendrils. Making some tiny eyes. How's he looking so far? Pretty much like no face. Okay, clean hands. We can use the white. I'm Gandalf the white and I'm Gandalf the gray. I'm Gandalf the green. You can't all just be Gandalf. That's not how it works. Nice. Slice. Way too big. This is not a one size fits all mask. It's gonna make him look like Daniel Radcliffe in Harry Potter when he wears an oversized blazer and it just, it's all kinds of wrong. Beep, 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 beep. That's just me doing the eyes, not tiny little purple features. It's not illegal. I'm just asking him how about that? No. No, this is like super delicate stuff and I have like giant goblin hands. <laughs> so it goes bam, bam, bam. Yep, got it. It is time to put his tiny mask on his tiny face. <laughs> Eyes slightly too big, but I've gone too far now to back out. So can I just say disclaimer, clay is not my usual medium that I work in. I think that's the best we can do for him. Poor little guy never stood a chance in this world. M -m -m money this is how you shake it. We're molding, we're molding. He is to squeeze it and soften it up just like you would a real dog. Well, I mean, that could technically be Jake the dog. He can do some, he can do some crazy things with his body. I got something specific in mind for Jake. I wanna play with the roundness of his body and how defined his butt is. I said that with way too much excitement. <laughs> but, 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 we need a butt. No, I can already see the butt taking shape. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Maybe I need to like slice some cheeks in there. Ooh, that sounds very terrible. Look at that defined, beautiful ass. You don't find many butts like that in the world. When you do, you gotta hang on to it. <laughs> kind of a uh, little bit like, hey, Ho, hey. No, 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 no. Oh yeah. Now you're playing with power. What dog doesn't have arm? BRB, you need to wash my hands again. I'm not crazy. No, I am not crazy. My hands are clean. Uh, I can dig that. I can get down with that. I can party with that all night long. It's not the done thing. Jake the dog is about symmetry. Wait, I got the wrong way around. I, I'm such an idiot, PJ. You're such a fool. That is not Jake's eyes. Jake's eyes are kind of inverted. If they find out that I've messed up, they're not gonna let me scuba dive. And if I can't scuba, then what's this all been about? His big old beady eyes. Dog, does he have ears? Am I imagining this? He has ears, right? I'm gonna commit because if he doesn't, then that's messed up. A dog without ears. It's just like in the cartoon. Hells yeah. I'm pretty proud of that. Jake the dog. Complete with defined butt. Okay, the moment we have all been waiting for. Totoro. Is PJ gonna mess up? Keep watching and see. Don't psych yourself out at the first hurdle. The first hurdle's always the hardest. Hey, oh, come on. I've got a feeling you're gonna see a- oh. Giving Toro the chance to have a nice soft bod in life. You know? What am I saying? Kinda a little bit like that. I just realized how bright it got. Answer, very. Well, it's, they're not too big. They're just bigger than I would like them to be. I'm gonna give you teeth that would cost you thousands. People always say the smile is the most beautiful thing, but it can be damn creepy. So I went ahead and finished up Totoro and he kinda looks a little bit crazed, like rabid, bitten by a wild coyote crazed. But hey, I think he's kinda cute. Now it's time for a classic Viking burial only with Less ocean and more fire. So it's not that it was a complete disaster. It's just they all just turned out a little bit derpy. But hey, maybe that's a thing I can work with. Maybe I start a range of derpy clay creatures. <laughs> 
It sounds like something I would do. If there's any characters you'd like me to try and make in the future, please let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to make any of your own clay characters, then please tweet me pictures of them. Teach me how to get better at clay modeling. Because this year, I want to improve a bunch of skills across the board. We'll all help each other in ways. Awesome. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And check out my updated end screen. See you later. Listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Now everybody listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Well guess what? Now it's my turn. So you just shut up and pay attention. Everybody just listen.